and welcome to another video. So it's been a couple of weeks since I started the AR home. So I thought with this new garage update, I know I said I was going to concentrate on one room, but this can be the room that I can concentrate on ish till I start feeling a bit sick. So just to warn you guys, whoever deals with motion sickness or just make sure you take breaks if you have to whilst watching this video and do excuse my dirty keyboard in the background. So this is the house that I had started on but I did say in the last video if I remember rightly because I haven't actually watched it back since I first put it out was I'm gonna get rid of them windows because they just didn't go. So I'm gonna get rid of them windows first then I'm going to make some adjustments to the outside of the house. So, I need to sort these windows out. It's just, how mind-boggling is this, right? Just, oh, It just hurts my head. And I will be putting up a poll today on Facebook, Twitter, and a few other places of what room I should like concentrate on in the next AR video, so in the third one. But we'll come to that in a bit in the video. So at the moment I'm just going to try and match up upstairs like the downstairs windows because I'll see that my OCD and stuff like need to make sure it's all in the same place. I think in the next video in f number three I'm going to find a better front door because if you remember me saying last time, like, we're literally going to take our time with this build because I do suffer from horrible motion sickness and I know I should have taken some meds for it before I started the video, but to be honest, I forgot. So let's just crack on. So I'm going to put another window upstairs. Originally, I was going to have the room at the front upstairs as the bathroom, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the bathroom now. Because for this garage, I had to get rid of one room at the front downstairs. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, to be honest. Decisions. So I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just trying to get over the house so I can get a copy of that window. <laughs> It, it just hurts my eyes. I'm loving the A-frame roof still. I should have actually changed the A-frame roof because with this Grand Garages live event, I've actually unlocked the new color of the A-frame roof. So if I remember in the next video, I will change that quickly as well. So I'm gonna make the hallway, uh, well, a little bit smaller. So this garage is not going to be like, I'm literally just going to add some stuff in that I've unlocked from the garage's update. I'm still actually trying to finish some of it off. So more stuff will be going into the garage. So it's not, of a, it's not like a half job done. It, I will be adding more into it as this like house building series goes on. So I need to make this a little bit bigger because the garage door we're not fitting and I only got the single garage door I didn't go for the double so I don't think I'm gonna get the double because I don't think I've actually got enough resources but do remember it is a brand new live event don't stress if you don't get everything straight away because it most likely will have a rerun in the future so you can just pick up from where you left off which is what I love about the Sims free play so I'm just gonna put in the garage door so how cool is that? Come on, we can finally have garages. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, just so I can move the garage doors into the middle, because that will hurt my OCD. So let's move it over a little bit. And if I remember rightly, in this update, we got a brand new wallpaper, like a brick sort of work for a garage and a stone floor so I will be adding this in in this video so I need to copy that window oh what's up behind okay that's a little adjustment I need to sort out in the next video 
I didn't even notice that whilst recording. Okay, so. Right. Let's add in the wall. Well, the wallpaper. And I think in, oh no, no. I don't want the brickwork there. Although it does look quite cool there. See, that, that is some nice brickwork, come on. See, th this game is like seven years old. I've been playing it on and off since launch. And when I mean on and off, I mean like there's been spaces of time where it's been deleted off my phone for like a year and I've gone back to it. But I've got to say, like, to update a seven-year-old game, like, this team is still going strong. So upstairs, I want to find a window that not necessarily has to match the other windows in the house, but I want, like, big, broad windows. I want to, like, kind of match the garage-ish, sort of. So I'm going to go with these big windows here. So I'm going to put... All right, I'm going to put two. So I can't put them next to each other, which is a shame. So it's going to be like that, which ain't too bad, to be honest. It's definitely an improvement on the chalet windows that I had going on before I put the garage in. So the next thing I want to do is put stuff in the garage. So with this new update, when you start unlocking stuff, you actually get a brand new tab called garages. And this is where like all the stuff in. So I'm gonna put my recycling bin out and my waste bin. So I'm actually glad we've got these now. Like, <laughs> they look good. I know like we shouldn't be saying, oh, bin looks good, but come on, that bin looks amazing. So I'm gonna put some washer dryers in. So I'm liking that. And then we've got the tools as well on the left-hand side. And then I think I'm going to finish off the garage for now. Because it's not a big garage, I don't really want to overcrowd it with too much stuff. So, near the window, like, I need a sink. So I'm going to pop a sink. So I'm just, oh, there we go. And then I am going to put another counter next to it, just so we can pop some bits and bobs on. And then, yeah, I'm not entirely finished with the garage yet. I'll probably move stuff around in future videos. Remember, it's not all set in stone, it's just me trying to get this house done. So like I said before, like these are the rooms that are left. I'm gonna label them in a poll and I'm gonna get you guys to vote in the next video which room I should concentrate on and finish. Well, not finish, but 90% finish. So let me, go, let me know what you guys think. Bear in mind, this is really like difficult for me anyway, like doing these this video especially. I'm gonna put some patio out actually before I go. In the next video, I will cover the whole ground with grass. You never know, it might actually help with the motion sickness a bit. So I'm shaking the camera quite a lot. <laughs> I think in the future, guys, you need to make an update, like a stabilisation update or something, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. So let's put some grass down. So I need to find the patio flooring tab. Where are ya? <laughs> Come on. Oh, there it is, patio paving. So I'm gonna put, yeah, the lawn down. Oh, no. Yeah. So there's nothing, yeah, I don't want any brickwork. I just want something plain, greenery, that'd be cool. And then in the next video, I'm actually gonna like surround the house with the greenery so it doesn't look so odd how it looks now. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like I said before, the poll will be going up. I will put links to the Sims Addicts group, obviously in the description as usual. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram and let me know what room you want me to concentrate on in the next video. So come and join us on the Sims Addicts group on Facebook. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.